we're going to be implementing the bootstrap block main menu. We're going to continue with our bootstrap block example implementation. We're going to create some example Drupal menu links. We're going to download and install the simplify menu module from drupal.org and we're going to implement our menu markup as in the example. So here is our Drupal instance with In this video we're going to be implementing the bootstrap block main menu. We're going to be continuing with our bootstrap block example. We're going to create some example Drupal menu links. We're going to download and install the simplified menu. In this video we're going to be implementing the bootstrap block main menu. We're going to be continuing with the bootstrap block example. We're going to create some example Drupal menu links. We're going to download and install the simplify menu module from drupal.org and we're going to implement our menu markup as in the example. So here is our Drupal instance with some part of the bootstrap block example template. Here the header is already implemented and the main wrapper and we're going to be continuing with the main menu. So for that we're going to first go ahead and create some menu links. Under structure menus we're going to be using the main navigation. So if we edit the menu we could simply create some random links. Let's go ahead and remove this one. That's not quite possible. We're going to just disable it for now. And also we're going to create, let's say, two more menu links, like we're going to call one shells linking it to the article so main navigation we're going to create another link called bats linking it to the article and we're going to create a last one which is going to be called bear bears and link it to the article. Let's order them a bit. So the home could be at the very beginning and that's perfectly fine for now. So let's go ahead and save it. And for displaying the main menu, we're going to be using the simplify menu module from Drupal.org in order to download it we're going to again use the composer so we're going to jump to the terminal and simply go to the folder with the composer json and run composer require drupal slash and the module name this would quickly download the module and then we're going to be able to activate it and start using it. So it's downloaded. Let's jump to our Drupal instance and under extend simplify menu. There we go. It is already activated here, but if it wasn't for you, just click it and click install afterwards. So we already have the module. The next thing we want to do is we want to 
use exactly the same markup as here and we're going to use this logic that we see here so let's just simply copy it there is already another video for the simplify menu module and we're basically doing here exactly the same so we are going to jump to our Drupal instance code base and we're going to be going to the teams custom the name of our team and in this case we're going to be rendering it simply in the page HTML tweak so as we see here it's right after the header so we're going here right after the header and we're pasting here the example and we're going to change some things I guess so we go to structure menu and we're going to check for the main navigation the machine name is main so it's exactly as in the example here it just says simplify menu gets the main menu links inside of items and then we're just for reaching the items and rendering them so we already have the menu links here we're going to simply paste the wrappers here there we go pasting the wrappers this should be just with one indent then the nav is good enough like this and we simply have to close the div here and actually we don't want allies we simply have ace here and we have special class so there we go this is a class so we simply push this like so and we remove the allies and that should be it because it's a simple a tag with class and yeah that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and save it and let's go back to our Drupal instance and simply clear the cache this should basically render our main menu there we go we see now our main menu it looks pretty much like here I I think that if they were less they were going to be centered like so so I guess this is the way it should look like and yeah the intent here for this menu design I guess is to have more menu links and they would look quite nice and yeah that's pretty much it if you like this video please check the links in the description like subscribe and thanks for watching